Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. Download unlimited After Effects templates, royalty-free sound effect, stock footage, and more. Visit Envato Elements. Check the link in the description. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Comic Logo Intro. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution. And a frame rate of 24 just to achieve the cinematic look. And my duration is 10 seconds longer. The first step is to create a new solid layer. I am calling it background. And then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets. And search for the ramp. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the ramp shape to the radial ramp. And then, change the start color. I am using a red color for it. You are free to use any color you want. For the end color, I am using a dark red color. Now grab this center point, and place it to the center. Then grab the bottom point, and place it away from the center. It will create a soft background. Cool, let's move to the next step. It's time to import the background images. But we are going to use a different method, than usual. So go to the project window, and then right click here. Go to the import, and then choose file. Or simply, double click here, and go to the folder, where your files are saved. By the way, you can download these image files from the link in the description. Please note. As you can see, these files name, are in a sequence of numbers. This will help us to import these images as the sequence, instead of adding them one by one manually. If you are going to use your own images, make sure to rename them first. The naming should be in a sequence. For example, image 01, image 02, image 03, so on. Enough talk, let's do some work now. Select the first image, and make sure to check this PNG sequence option else this step won't work. Then click on this import button. All the images will be added as a single video clip. You can check it by dragging it onto the timeline. Play it, and you can see all images are showing as the frame of video clip. But the speed is faster than what we need, also the duration is not enough to cover up the entire timeline. Luckily, we have a smart fix for this. Let's delete it from the timeline first. Go to the project window, and then right click on this sequence file. Go to the interpret footage, and select main. Now this window will appear. For making it slower, change the assume this frame rate value to 12, or lower. This means, it will only show this number of images in a second. Cool. Now, in the same window, go to the bottom part and change the loop value to around 5. It will repeat all the images in loop for 5 times. Technically, the image sequence duration will be longer than what we need. Click on the OK button, and then place this sequence layer, on top of background. Cool. It will now cover the entire duration of the timeline. If you want you can keep it as you like, but I am going to change the blending mode of it. If your blending tab is not available here, press F4, to switch between. If your F4 key is celebrating the kiss day with F3 key, then right click here, go to the columns, and select modes. As well as select the switches, B1, 
because we are going to need this. Now change the blending mode to multiply. And it will merge with the color of your background. Now I want the images to start disappearing after a few seconds. Let's go to the 4 second position, and then press T, to open opacity. Now add a keyframe on it. Go to around 7 second position, and change the opacity value to 0%. Now all the images will disappear by 7 second. Of course you can increase the timing, according to your need. Cool. Let's add a texture to it. Double click here, to import the texture file. Go to the folder where your texture file is saved. And then select it. I am also selecting the logo, because we need to add it later. Now grab this texture image, and place it above the sequence layer. Let's change its blending mode to multiply as well. But this image is too large, so right click on it, go to the transform, and then select fit to comp. Cool. Now we have added a nice looking paper texture to it. It will help to increase the quality of the images. Now I want this texture to fade out, with the sequence layers. So go to the timing, of the first keyframe, then press T to open opacity. Now add a keyframe on it. Go to the last keyframe position, and change the opacity value to 0%. Now this texture layer will disappear, at the same time of this sequence layer. Cool, let's import our logo. By the way, you are free to add text instead of logo. The first step is to pre-compose your logo. Right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it logo comp. Click on move all attributes into the new composition. And then hit OK. Again go to the effects and the presets. And this time search for the gradient wipe. Apply it onto the layer. And then go to around 3 seconds position. Now go to the effect controls tab, and first, change the transition completion value to 100%. And then change the transition softness value to 20%. This step is important. Select the gradient layer to the PNG sequence layer. Now add a keyframe on transition completion. Go to the 7th second position, and change the transition completion value to 0%. Check the animation, and it should look like this. This logo layer, is using the sequence layer data for appearing. But I want the images to appear before showing the logo. So select the logo layer, as well as the sequence layer. Now make a duplicate of it. Place it on top of all layers. We don't need it to merge with the background, so let's change the blending mode to the normal. Make sure the image sequence layer is below the logo layer. Now for the sequence layer, change the track mat to alpha mat. Also, I am placing this layer to the left, so that the timing will be different, than the background. Now select this logo comp layer, and place it on top of all layers. I am calling it logo reveal. Now press U, to open keyframes. Select this first keyframe, and place it to the right, so that the reveal animation will be shorter, than the bottom layer. Now we will see the images in logo shape. You can always adjust the timing according to your need. Cool. This looks good to me. It's time to add some animation. Select all layers, and then press U, to minimize them. Now we are going to make these layers 3D, except this background layer. So make sure to unselect it. Now click here, to make these layers 3D. Now select these logo layers, and press P, to open position. Here change the last position value to negative 500. It will create some depth. Also, I am changing the scale size to 60%. Cool. Now go to the last frame, and then create a new camera. I am using the default camera preset. Now press P, 
to open position, and add a keyframe on it. Also, open rotation, and add a keyframe on Z rotation. Now go to the first frame, and change the Z rotation value to 30 degrees. Again open position, and this time, change the last position value, so that it will cover up the entire screen. Cool. Press U double time, to open keyframes. I am placing this last rotation keyframe on 4th second position. So that the camera should stop rotating in under 4 seconds. Actually, I am placing it on 6th second. Check the animation, and see if you like it. Well, this is better. Now select all layers, and then open keyframes by pressing U. You can always press the wave key on your keyboard, to toggle the full screen window. Now select all keyframes, which are showing here. Then right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and choose easy ease. Press the wave key once again. Ramp preview this, and our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.